Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this tutorial, we will see how we can deploy our React.js application to GitHub pages. Let's get started. Here you can see we have a SpaceX project available in GitHub and uh, i will share this code with you now uh, let's go to the command prompt and uh, here i'll write cd space x ui so this is the project that we have you can clone it by clicking here and then you can simply write git clone and then paste it so after that you will get this project and then you can write cd spacex then now we are into C spacex let's do one thing open this project into visual studio code now click on terminal new terminal and after that we can do npm install Make sure you have already installed Node.js in your system. Now let's try to run it and we'll see what is there inside this project. So for that we have to write npm start npm run start. Perfect. So now we can see in this SpaceX project I have created this kind of UI where you can search it by name then you can add some filter right last year launched and then uh, last month launch successful launch or false so these codes are already available in my project now what we need to do instead of running this project from localhost what we will do is we can deploy this project in github pages it's completely free so let's do that for now i'll just do close by pressing ctrl c and then we can go into the package.json and from here we have to add from here we have to add home page so we will add one field that is called home page and in this home page we'll have to write something like http colon and then basically you can add slash slash and here you can write you know username so i can say username for the github account and then dot github dot io github.io and then slash the repository name repo name so this is the format that you have to follow and then you can close this braces so let's do this for me our my uh, username is ckj delhi i'll just copy it and then i'll replace with the username and then repository name is spacex so let's copy it and paste it here so i have added my home page that ckjdelhi.github.io slash spacex and then save it now next thing that we need to do is we have to install a package so for that what we will do we'll have to write npm install gh pages and then we'll do hyphen hyphen save right so we have to do npm install gh pages hyphen hyphen save let's Right, so now you can see GH pages is added here as a dependency and uh, 
we have added home page also in the next step we need to add here a script so as of now you can see we have a start build test and then eject so now let's add here one more uh, basically two more a script one is pre-deploy and in this pre-deploy what we will do we'll write npm run and then we'll write build so whenever i will run i will perform pre-build then what actually it will do it will do npm run build that means it will it will do this one and then next thing is we can run we can write is deploy deploy and in this deploy what we will do we'll perform a command that is gh pages hyphen d space build so it will deploy all the codes from the build directory and then just save it so basically we have to do three things one is to add home page another thing is to add gh pages as a dependency and then third one is we need to add a script in our project now let's run these two commands and see it so first i'll do is i will perform npm run pre deploy right pre deployment worked and then next thing that we need to do is to deploy it so we'll perform npm run deploy and click enter so now it is published let's go to the repository and we can refresh this page after that we will go into the settings and then from here i'll go to the pages and now you can see here it is saying your site is published at https ckj delhi dot github io dot spacex let's click here and see whether application is deployed or not yes you can see now our application is deployed and working fine here in this github and anyone from the world can access this this is completely free you can access it anytime also make sure <coughs> if you had created project locally first time then you should add git remote git remote origin so to check whether git remote is added or not <coughs> we'll perform git remote hyphen v so now you can see in my project it is connected with my remote if you have created first time in that case you have to do git remote add and then add origin and paste here the url right url for your project and then you can perform these two commands pre-deploy and deploy so hope you are able to get this thank you see you in the next video